guys, welcome back to some more Heavy Rain. We're playing as Mr. Ethan Mars now. Hmm. Bat, I guess, maybe? Hmm. A bat. A fox. A crab. Oh, pretty simple stuff. Death. Slide there. Death. Uh, this means that you're actually mental, Ethan. Um, and uh, yeah, you'll never go over your son's death. I guess I'm seeing a shrink. I have the results of your MRI scans. Everything seems to be normal. There is no physical damage from the accident. However, I am worried about your psychological condition. I know it's not easy, but you've got to start over, Ethan. Then what to? You're not responsible for what You lost happened. everything. It's my fault Jason is dead. He'd still be alive if I'd been looking out for him. It was an accident. Accidents happen mm, Kids don't day. die. All kids do die every day, but you know what I mean. You can't blame yourself forever for your son's death. How is Sean? He's a very solitary kid, you know, Bit very weird. focused within himself. He's really close to his mother. With me, he's more distant. And what about you, Ethan? What are you Nothing! Feeling? I'm dead inside. Dead. Mm, if I pick it. I stopped living at the same time Jason did. And that car ran into us. Interesting. One sec, guys. I need to go pee. He's really close to his mother. With me, he's more distant. Okay, we already heard this and bit, guys. Sorry about you, that. Ethan? What do you feel? I feel dead inside. Let's actually say it this I time. I stopped living the same time Jason did. And that car ran into us. This is really fucking depressing. Is there something else you wanted to tell me, Ethan? Oh yeah, I uh, woke up on a weird street corner with origami in my figure. In my figure? In my hand. I sometimes have these... blackouts. Times when... I don't know what I'm doing. I recover consciousness sometime later. But I'm someplace else. And... I have no idea how... Hang on, what if he is the origami killer in those blackouts? That'd be really fucked up. Do you think this could be related to the accident? You suffered a massive concussion and were in a coma for six months. We really don't know what effect a shock like that can have on the brain. You gonna do anything about these blackouts, or...? That's the end no, of you should let me go. Great. No, ten out of ten. Well done. Best psychiatrist ever. Fuck you! Uh, that'll be ten thousand dollars, sir. You were lucky, Ethan. It's very rare to survive such a traumatic accident. I don't think he was that lucky. I don't exactly feel lucky, Doctor. I feel fucked! Inches? What the fuck is that? Is that the amount of rain pool, I guess? Over that period of time? It's kind of weird. How did things go at school today? I was punished because I didn't do my. Homework. Oh yeah, sure, sure. I forgot about, I forgot about that. Didn't, didn't we didn't do that, did we? I'm sorry about that. Sean. Next time we'll really pull it together, okay? Hmm. Do you want to eat something? Really talkative kid. Is something the matter, Sean? Uh, my brother's dead. No, I'm alright. You really look it, Sean. Jesus fucking Christ. Aren't you gonna go play with the other kids? I don't feel like it. Great, well that's gone well. Ten out of ten. Let's wander off now, leave him there. Oh, what's this? There's something to interact with just there? 
A boomerang? You know how to use it? No, not really. I can never make it come back. Can I give it a try? You didn't say yes, just do it anyway. Just do it anyway. There we go, it's gonna be amazing. I'm ready for my boomerang mad skills, guys. Wah. Of course, Ethan Mars, Dad of the Year extraordinaire, is amazing at throwing everything. I fu oh, I fucked up. Gotta be able to improve my catch. Yeah, I'll press X faster next time. Gotta like actually make our son have some kind of reaction, otherwise he's probably gonna end up to growing into a serial killer himself. Which we possibly might actually be as well. Great. There we go. Fantastic. Let's try this again. Sean actually like reacted like a human being for once, so you know that's something. <laughs> like severs Sean's head as it comes back. End of the game. Whoa! You did it, Dad. Do you want to give it a try? I won't be able to do it. Oh, come on, let's try it together. Now the main thing is to get the right position at the beginning. Now you gotta throw it straight and a little to the right. Okay, don't fuck this up, Ethan. You gotta fucking make him actually feel like he's not a complete fucking idiot. go. I hope it comes back. I hope it comes back. That'd be great. Yeah! I did it! Oh, that's kind of cool. Good job, Sean. Let's play some more games together. See? That wasn't so hard. A nice day out of the park. I think it's time for us to go home now. Looks like rain's coming. Heavy rain. Oh my god. Oh my god. It means it's shit. Rain means bad. Okay. Bad, 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 sad. I wouldn't let, I'd be like holding my kid's hand the entire time. Before. I mean when Jason was still here. Sometimes I wish everything could just be the way it was before. Me too, Sean. Me too. That's really depressing. That's one of the most depressing things I've ever heard anyone say in a video game in my entire life. Holy shit, that's depressing. It should be illegal for it's for things to be that depressing. Coming. Hey, Dad, can I have a ride on the carousel? Can I fucking I? hate carousels. They're always so fucking sure. shit. Go pick a horse and get on. The ones are like, the ones when I was a kid were always like falling apart and look like you probably get like fucking tetanus from sitting on a. A rusty bit that's gonna like go up your ass. One, please. That's a dollar. Well, you know, it's raining, so it means probably means that this is gonna spiral out of control and die. Either that, or he's not gonna be there already. He's gonna be vanished. Great, that'd be brilliant, wouldn't it? Oh, there he is. How you doing, Sean? I mean, it's totally safe on here. Why don't we go and like, I don't know, have a cigarette or walk around the block for five minutes or something? Oh fuck, we're gonna have a blackout. We're gonna have a blackout and we're probably gonna kill our own son in the blackout. Great. Absolutely fucking wonderful. Well done, Ethan. Father of the fucking year. How many kids have you lost now? Two. Great. Great fucking wonderful. Absolutely fucking wonderful. Oh sh- oh fuck! <laughs> Didn't expect to have to do a quick time event there. Well, this is great. We'll come back to this corner. Apparently this corner has some relevance of some kind. Is it where we live? I don't actually fucking know. Oh god, it's like Jason all over again. This is really bad. Like, Sean is definitely fucking been abducted by the Oregano killer. Right now he's probably like fucking stuffing herbs down his throat until he dies. That's what he does, the Oregano Killer. It's nothing to do with rain. Sean! Sean, we're up. 
Well, we're fucked. Great. Oh my god, I can't believe this happened to him twice! It's fucking ridiculous! Just like the fucking worst luck, worst life this man could ever have in his life. This is like the shittest fucking shit life ever. The shittest fucking shit life in the history of Shitsville ever to fucking shit out of anyone. It's shit. Summarize, it's shit. And he's got some fucking oregano in his hand. Should probably like, I don't know, tell the police. Just as good as the FBI, you know. Speaking of Fabai, we are playing as Fabai Man now. Jaden. Norman Jaden. Fucking weird close up of your face. I'm not sure I like these close ups of the face things. At least in Beyond Two Souls, like, it was just Jody. You know what I mean? So you don't have to change from face to face to face. Right. What the fuck are we doing? Just sitting here. Do you think it's gonna take long? No, he should be finished soon. Okay, so we're waiting for like the superintendent or some shit. I can't remember what his job was, detective, whatever it was. Let's put our weird glasses on. Our weird totally don't fit in with the fucking time uh the game is set glasses. What the fuck? I guess we're gonna bounce a virtual ball. Yeah, that's kinda cool. Again, totally doesn't happen, like, this doesn't make any sense! It's like, it's, it's like a weird sort of sci-fi tilt to it, I don't really get it. Everyone else just thinks we're fucking crazy. Either that or the glasses aren't real and we're just absolutely fucking crazy. Because he was doing a weird shaking thing earlier, which is possible, you know? Well, cutting edge gameplay here, guys. Let's go for another one. Oh, yeah! Fortunately, we've been saved from complete monotony by this. I'm off, Charlene. I'll look at the reports later. I'll cancel all appointments for this afternoon. Okay. Oh, Captain. Agent Norman Jaden from the FBI is here. Jaden, of course, we've been expecting you. He doesn't sound overly I'm happy about this. Do you mind tagging along? We can talk as we walk. Yeah, of course. I wanted to introduce myself before introduce. getting started, but I like his accent. Perhaps there's a better no, time. No, now it's fine. I just have to get to the press conference. We have them every day now. Believe me, it's not always easy finding something to tell them. Fortunately, today we have some news. Have you met Lieutenant Blake yet? Yeah, we met this morning. So why do you have press yeah, conferences if there's no news? Cop, I'm sure you like, about the origami killer every day? Do you know how to tie a knot in the neck? Oh god, this is gonna be weird. I guess. What? I have to do it for him? To be frank with you, I could have done without the FBI on this one, but the press are all over us. This origami killer case crept up on us, and it's fast becoming a national concern. There are hundreds of killers in this country. You've got only one that uses origami. This guy is exotic. He leaves flowers and origami figures. Work that one out. Then the press get onto it, and we suddenly become the center of the universe. Okay, so I guess that's why they have to fucking do I'm press conferences. I'm here to arrest a serial killer. With all due respect, sir, the rest of it, it's none of my business. No, of course not. 
All I'm asking is that you make Just do your fucking job, you fucking idiot. Fast. The press want a perpetrator, and we're gonna have to serve him up on a silver platter. Is this guy called Ethan Myers, guys? I kind of suspect him. Not bad. Oh, go see Charlie and she'll show you to your office. Yeah, check in on the press conference if you're interested. It'll give you an idea of the political climate around here. Thank you, sir. Welcome to the club, Jaden. This sounds like, a, like he doesn't really want to be here. This sounds like he's like really just pissed off in general he's here. I mean, everything is so just fucking grey as well in this game, you know what I mean? Like, it's all like, everything's depressing. What do we have? Captain Perry is doing his press conference now. Might be interesting to have a look. Ah, maybe. Someone's mentioned Could office. Perry's assistant show me my office. I can't wait to get to work. Okay, yeah, that sounds like a good idea as well. Uh... I'm dying of thirst. Where's the water cooler when you need one? I guess that must be the assistant over here. I saw Blake when I arrived. Maybe I should go talk to him. Or maybe I should just fucking talk to the assistant here and get into my office and actually do my fucking job. What the fuck is this? Collection? What the fuck? Can't interact with that anymore. Oh, maybe this? Nice watch. Oh, it's the present we offer to our new lieutenants. We bought the same model each year for the past 20 years for each promotion. Oh, that's kind of cool. It optimizes everybody's time, and it's the kind of thing that always goes down well. You can contribute to our fund if you like. We're still a few dollars short. Mm, I guess so. Don't want to be a dick on the first day on the job. On my behalf. I'll be sure to do that, sir. Captain Perry said you could show me to my office? Yes, of course. Follow me. Okay, cool. Guess we've done one of our little objectives here. Whereabouts is it? Oh god, what the fuck? It's better be a nice office. I want a fucking view of the entire precinct from my windows, and it's gonna be shit, isn't it? Yeah, it's shit. Great. 10 out of 10. This is my office? That's where I was told to take you. If you need anything, you know where to find me. Feel sorry for her. She's just doing her job. This office is shit. Just, just fucking tell them to fuck off. Just tell them all to fuck off. I love if we just like lost it, like smashing the office up. Like this place is shit. I love it. Okay, time to work. Okay. What work are we doing? Okay. Yeah, we don't need a phone. Phones are for fucking losers. Who needs a t who needs phones when you got fucking magical glasses that tell you everything about everything? You know. Here we go. Perfect. Nothing can go wrong here. Got a notice board, a desk, and a chair. Cornerstones of a perfect police crime solving thing. Are you ready? Step one change the office. Okay, that's kind of weird. What the fuck is this? Like, uh, where I keep track of all the information on the case and stuff, I guess? Interesting. I like the environment thing, that's kind of cool. What do we have here? Okay, origami killer. Always the same ritual. An origami in the hand, an orchid on the chest. The victims have always been dead for less than six hours when they were found. Which means they remained alive for several days before being drowned. Okay, so he abducts, keeps them alive, About then drowns them. 500 people questioned. Over 100 suspects interrogated. Not a single lead to go on. That's really weird, I must admit. Okay. What do we have here? Anything of use?
That was absolutely fucking... I don't even know what I fucking did there. The killer is white, age between 30 and 45. Okay, so Ethan Mars. He is intelligent, calm, and determined. An organized type. He has a car. He's probably employed, but his work allows him free time. Okay. Like Ethan Mars. Anything here? No. Hmm. Okay, so what else? The victim is of the origami killer file. This is important to learn the backstory here. Exactly what's There's always a railroad line adjacent to where the bodies are found. And all the victims disappeared in the fall. Okay. It's a bit weird, but still. So the autumn is like his trigger time. Oh, okay, cool. So we actually have some geographic analysis here of where all the victims were. Jesus, this is like quite a small area. He gained confidence rapidly and moved away from his base. Hmm, this won't make the geoprofiling any easier. Okay, so somewhere in that circle is probably where the origami killer lives. Folding his paper things and eating oregano all fucking day long. Anything else I should be doing here? Hmm. Oh. It's just the same shit. I don't want to do that. What the fuck am I doing? There you go. Just close it. Whatever. It's enough information for today. Um. But do we have the same blackouts as well? Oh, that'd be bad if we did. Jesus. Here we go again. I better go wash my okay, face. Okay, that sounds good. Go wash your face. W wash your face to avoid the blackout. I need to take some. I'm gonna faint if I resist. Maybe. Oh my god. What if it's him? Like. It's alright. I know. I can Maybe the blackouts will be like a recurring thing. No, I can make it. Take trip to. Oh, can I take the trip to? That's fucking great! I'm gonna trip some fucking balls! What the fuck is this shit? I have no idea what just happened, but I guess I, he's got a drug habit and I just did some drugs to stop myself passing out? That sounds like the sensible way of coping. I mean, like, if you got some, you may as well take him, you know? Don't, don't do that, guys. Uh, don't do drugs. So what the fuck is going on here? Oh, it's uh, is he th obviously reporting Sean being missing? Sean being missing. This is Lieutenant Blake, Mr. Marsh. Could you please tell him what happened? It, it was this afternoon. I went to the park with my son Sean. And I blacked out, and, and he went missing. Mile, and then he wanted to go on the carousel, so I put him on one of the wooden horses. And when I turned back, Sean had disappeared. Okay, it's pretty serious. Exactly. What time did you arrive at the park? Uh, yesterday. Exactly, Mr. Mars. Every detail can be. Important. I have no idea what time we arrived at the park. About... I have no idea what time we arrived. I have no idea. Five thirty, I think. I'm not really sure. Uh, even what I... was your son wearing? I'm fucking on the south by that. He was wearing a coat. Um, wasn't it beige? A beige coat. I can't actually fucking and remember. Pants. Uh, pick one at random. Green pants. How could Sean have disappeared without you even noticing? Um, you see, Won't I black out all the time. By the carousel. Uh. I went for a short walk around the park just for a few minutes. When I got back. The carousel had stopped, and Sean was. I'm sure that's the best excuse, Ethan. You say you took your son to the park after school, but you didn't report him missing until 8:15. Why did it take you so long to contact the police? Uh, search. That, that's a that's a good reason. I searched the whole neighborhood for him. I, I thought he couldn't have gone far. That is true, and he actually did do that. All right. So he's got one bit of it, right? You know. I have for now. You're free to go, Mr. Mars. We'll continue to look for Sean overnight. We'll contact you if we have any more questions. 
do... Do you think the origami killer... Listen, your son's probably just run off... I very much doubt it. Couple of hours. I don't think that's actually the case, you know. But what if it is the origami killer? Well, then we have about four days to find him alive. That's that's reassuring. Thanks. Thank you. Best detective in the world. Best fucking fucking bedside, not bedside, but deathside manner ever. Great. At the end. Brilliant. Fucking hell. Oh god. Well, yes, I killed your other son. Okay, I killed him too. I killed them both. It was. A, Did they find I can't help it. I'm just a shit dad. No. Nothing yet, but they're gonna keep looking through the night. Do they? Do they think it's the It is. It obviously is. Otherwise, it would be a fucking video game. It, it, it's still too early to say. But it is. A but it is. Yeah, it's definitely the origami killer. Definitely, a hundred percent, a million percent. It definitely is. No other else it could be. It's the origami killer. Origami, 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 teriyaki. How could you lose strong like that? You should never have taken your eyes off him. I mean, for God's sake, how hard is it to keep exactly. your eye off him? He's just a fucking... He is, like, literally the worst dad of all time. I'm sorry, but... Why? Ugh. Wasn't it enough losing... Yeah, you fucking idiot! Okay, we probably shouldn't have gone that far. It's a bit triggering. I'm sorry. Nice save. Well done. 10 out of 10. I'm sure he feels great now. This is so fucking depressing and shit. I mean, it's not. It's not shit. Like, it's just like fucking. So like, there's the tirade of terrible events happening to this fucking family, who, by all intents and purposes, seem quite nice. You know. Uh, hashtag heavy rain. It never rains, but it Hope you enjoyed the video, guys. More to come. Well, I just did like three quarters of the thing in one. Oh, yeah. come on. Come on, no! That wasn't really a strat, I just <laughs> did. Blown it! Blown it! your best blowing breath. Alrighty, and now tied with Bryce. Okay, I'm okay with this. Alright. I got I'm two strokes up, but oh. that doesn't oh, really boy. matter this once one. we get into the snake slam. Screw this one. That wasn't even enough. Uh, that I wasn't fucking... even enough. That was fucking three. Oh, too much. Go with. Oh, nope, I overshot it. Here. Oh, I overshot that. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, I, I, I feel like oh, Rob and I are doing the exact same amount each time, and we're like, okay, maybe it's about this one. Yeah. <laughs> oh, fuck you, game. See, now you're learning the numbers, Trats. Oh, oh God. Shoot. There that we go. Got that birdie. Oh, bye.